How fat am I? I wanted to find out, so I booked myself in for a DEXA scan. These are the gold standard in body fat measurements. I also went to the gym and used one of their machines. I went to Kmart and bought some home scales and I also used a tape measure. So let's compare how these all stack up against the DEXA scan and see which ones are actually worth using. Okay, so this is the DEXA scan. Now this is a medical grade scan, it cost me $99, and it measures both your visceral fat, which is around your organs, and your subcutaneous fat, which is just under the skin. So anything blue there on my body is not fat, and anything green, yellow, or red is fat. So this ended up coming to 19.5% of my entire body being fat. Okay, so the first comparative method is the tape measure. So this is the lowest cost. Um, it cost me $2 for a tape measure and it's really easy to do. I'm using the two-site US Navy method um, here. So all I need to do is get a waist and a neck measurement and plug it into this calculator here. And I ended up with 17.1% uh, body fat. So next up, scales. I purchased some $35. Kmart scales that use bioelectrical impedance to send a small electric current through your body um, to determine what is your visceral fat and what is your uh, subcutaneous fat and it tells you uh, an overall percentage. So here it was 14.8%. Um, so if I was 100 kilos that would mean 14.8 kilos of me uh, is fat. And finally, I used a gym scanner. So this is an in-body scanner. It cost me $49 um, to get a scan. Um, it's also a bioelectrical impedance machine, um, like, the, like the home scales. Uh, it uses uh, electricity going through your body, um, except it has more pads. So it has those hand pads. Um, I came out at 18.9% body fat on this machine. So what does all this mean? Well, the DEXA scan is a true reflection of my body fat. So let's see what other methods uh, are worth using. The gym scanner is extremely accurate. It's half the price and way more accessible than a DEXA scan. So using these regularly is a great option. Next up was the tape measure, which was over 2% different than the DEXA. However, it's extremely cheap with unlimited reassessments. So using it in conjunction with one of the more expensive methods is probably your best bet. So looking at this reference chart, 25% plus body fat for males is usually classed as obese. For me, in the last three tests, I've been placed in the normal category, which is 15 to 20%. The final result was the scales. Now these were nearly 5% out compared to the DEXA. Looking at this reference chart, that would have put me in the athletic category. Um, however, I am missing the visible abs, so I'm clearly not in that, that range. They did have a good reading of weight only, so using them as scale is still, is still useful, um, but I wouldn't trust them to try and give me an accurate reflection of my current body fat uh, percentage. So, what do I recommend? Well, for most people looking to gain or lose weight or are just curious, I would recommend using the tape measure regularly and only comparing those results with other tape measure results. I would also recommend at the start and end of any weight change period to get one of the more expensive scans done, either the DEXA or the GYM scan, just so you can have a better understanding of your visceral fat and your subcutaneous fat changes.